there are a number of experiments and a number of activities uh, where color is the determining factor in making your judgment or the determining factor in making calculations. Uh, and it, uh, you have to really teach the students how to compare colors. For example, if they look at these five beakers, and if we can have the overhead shot, please. If they look at these five beakers on an overhead shot, they look identical, correct? Now, if we can have a horizontal shot, if you look at these five beakers again, they all look identical. Now, I'm going to add one more beaker into the mix. I'll replace one of them. If you look horizontally, I would assume that the large beaker is darker in color. If you look vertically on the, over, uh, the overhead camera, I would assume the large beaker is darker. Correct? But all of these solutions, including the one I took away, all came out of this beaker. How can it be? Let me demonstrate. There are 60 milliliters of liquid depth in each beaker. I'm going to increase this one to wherever it stops. 140. Looking horizontally, they're all the same. And I'll, with this one, I'll go above 140. Looking horizontally, they're all the same. From 60 to 100, they're all the same. Just uh, water. These, uh, this is a food coloring, red food coloring in water. So I'll add some water. And when I do this, you're going to say, but hey, you're changing the concentration. That's right. If I add water into this, if, uh, the color will either increase, decrease, or stay the same. Let's look at it at a horizontal view first. And you can see that the color has decreased. Now, if we pour less water into this one, It has decreased again, but it's still darker than this one, horizontally. Now, let's look vertically. And I want you to look at the color of these, the liquid in these two beakers. We know from what you've just told me that looking at them horizontally through the beakers, the colors are different. Now, looking vertically through the colors, they're the same. How can that be? How can that be? Color, uh, color is a function of two things. Or color to the eye is a function of two things. The actual depth of color because of the quantity of colored material, the quantity of pigment in the thing you're looking at. And in the case of solutions, the light path the length of the light path. So two things that have the same concentration and the same light path look the same. Two things that have the same quantity of material in total, like these two beakers do, the same quantity of material in each of these beakers, original materials, the light path horizontally is the same. Hence, this one looks more concentrated than this one. With these two, but looking vertically, the light path is different. But if you take a cross section of the liquid in the beaker, if you look above one square centimeter of liquid in this beaker 
and one square centimeter of liquid in this beaker, you have exactly the same amount of pigment. It's just spread out a little bit, hence the same color. And that is the fundamental principle uh, by which colorimeters work. So you can either measure the, uh, co the color path and color intensity with an instrument of some sort, or you can do it with your eye. And your eye is acting as a colorimeter and automatically computes length of color path with you know, quantity of pigment, and hence concentration.